Hi, everyone. So I am Robin Farman Farmian. So I want to start out by thinking about what is the hardest thing you need to do on a daily basis? The hardest thing I need to do on a daily basis is eat. In fact, anything from a small glass of water to a full meal causes me pretty significant pain. I've been on pain medication now for 27 years. Everything on the, uh, in the blue, I mean, those are really highly addictive pain meds. The reason is because as a teenager, I was misdiagnosed. All told, I've had 43 hospitalizations, six major surgeries, and three organs removed. At the age of 26, this is seven years after I'd had my entire large intestine surgically removed, my doctors were telling me I was cured, <laughs> but I wasn't. And I was in significant pain. So over a period of years, they kept upping and upping and upping my opiate dose until finally my pain doctor put me on 80 milligrams a day of methadone. Now, that is a gigantic dose, right? And uh, I hated the drug. It was a terrible, terrible medication, one of my top like three worst medications ever. Went back to my next doctor's appointment and I said, I want to off this drug now, right? And they told me that the next stage would be to surgically implant a morphine pump into my spine. I was like, are, are, are you kidding me? I was 26 years old and they were telling me I was going to be on these high dose opiates for the rest of my life. So I said, absolutely not, right? That's when I went home and I fired my entire healthcare team. Right? I took control of my own healthcare and I'm one of those massively overdriven type A personalities kind of off the charts. So I reduced my own methadone dose by 40%. This is a significant drop. I mean, of course, you're risking seizures at that point. But I was like, I need to catalyze this before I can get into a new pain clinic. So I uh, spent about a week crawling across the floor just to get like lemonade and salt, because that's really the only thing I could get down during that week of, of pretty extreme opiate withdrawal. Now, when you are going through that, I mean, every single cell in your body hurts. It is extremely painful. Of course, I also had severe undiagnosed Crohn's disease in a J pouch. For the doctors in the room, you, you understand that. So it was already you know, a pretty painful situation. But let me tell you, the day that I dropped my methadone dose, it's like the sun came out, right? I was so incredibly happy. Despite the sheer amount of pain I was in, I was like, thank God, I want to be off this medication and I cannot wait until I start to taper it down. This has been my successful pain management solution now for over a decade. You see the medication section is like this big. Very important, absolutely, but it's like this big. And no physician or healthcare professional of any kind ever told me about anything on this list except the tramadol, which came from my GI doctor, right? And that's the problem with pain medication, right? There are no magic bullets in the two to 300 different ways you can treat pain. Not one single one is ever gonna work, right? It's a comprehensive full tools, right? And successful pain control is really hard work. I can't cheat on my diet of 75% liquid, right? The way someone on a weight loss diet can. And absolutely, if I skip exercise that day, I can't do that, right? But once or twice a week, I wake up shaking in pain, uh, drenched in sweat, just because, you know, I do have Crohn's disease. And I am on the Stairmaster by 8 a.m. because I know that is as important in my pain medication management solution as my tramadol. And I can't skip exercising that day and just take a little extra medication, any more so than I can skip my medication and maybe you know, sleep or, or do a little bit more exercise room that, that day. Pain control doesn't work that way. But the problem is, most people aren't you know, massively overdriven type A personalities. You can't just give them marching orders and a prescription and say, reduce your stress, set goals, be positive, right? These things are not something that patients can integrate and execute on. So I would like to introduce into the conversation pain and life coaches. To work with the healthcare professionals and the patient to come up with comprehensive pain management solutions, personalized, individualized, right? And then this is the important part because this is where medicine fails patients a lot, right? Help the patient integrate and execute on these on a daily basis. So I want to give you three action items. One, make marijuana research more accessible. It is one of the most effective medications out there for Crohn's disease. None of my doctors can tell me anything about it, right? Two, use pain and life coaches for personalized, comprehensive pain management solutions 
and integrate and execute those in the patient's life. And three, make sure that medication prescribing laws do not become stricter. Because let me tell you, the most terrifying thing in the world to me, a stable but pretty sick chronic disease and chronic pain patient, is taking away my medication, right? I am terrified of that. It's a very small dose, but you know, these are what these laws are coming to. And if I am on my pain management solution, I have 35 talks this year all over the world, and I'm working on two different companies in sleep apnea and tissue engineering. I am literally directly, directly impacting hundreds of millions of patients, right? But you take away something like my tramadol, and bam, I'm back to being a shut-in, and I can't function, right? So the answer is not stricter laws, but education, personalization, and comprehensive pain management solutions. And that is the way we're going to win the war on pain. Thank <laughs> you.